Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to tell you a bit about myself. I was born and raised in a Sahelian Muslim rural community in Niger by a single mother. Lack of electricity and clean water were issues that we faced as a community. As a family, we faced stigma and social injustice. Struggling to find a job, my mother decided to start her own business selling porridge and donuts to finance our education, something she valued above everything. Despite making a living out of her business, things got tough as the community was against her initiative because she's a strong woman. In my community, it's very unwelcome for a woman to work and to be self-sufficient. I witnessed my mother, my beloved heroine, get insulted and cursed as she continued to wake her way to success. Because of all that, we moved to the city where my mother finally got a job. She managed to rent a place and sent us all to school. Our roof was full of holes, and when it rains, you feel like you are in the rain. Against all odds, my mother succeeded. Because of her, I'm here today in this beautiful city giving a speech. I went through many struggles in life just because I was raised by a strong woman in a community that functions differently. My dedication now is to help fight this injustice and to change perceptions around single mothers in my community. I do not want any women in my community to go through what my mother went through. This is the main reason why I decided to establish the Sahel Solar Academy. Through this nonprofit, we teach the installation and maintenance of solar panels, solar power plants, battery storage, and PV powered groundwater pumps. In order to address the critical need for world class professional labor in renewable energy, especially solar PV. And we focus mostly on ensuring women, and especially rural women, have significant representation and are immersed in an environment that nurtures their personal and professional development. We help them develop their soft skills while honing their hard skills. It's not easy persuading families to let their women steady awake. We are up against tradition. But so far, out of 150 people that we have trained from 10 villages, over 100 are women. And our aim is for them to be active participants in the development of their different communities. So once they graduate, we connect them to local NGOs to serve as contact points in their different communities. Combined, our graduates have generated more than $100,000 in income and work on projects worth more than $200,000.
Three years ago, we partnered with Prosomin Energy, a renowned solar company in Niger, and we are working toward our goal to address Niger's most pressing needs in electricity and clean water for 75% of the population by 2030. But we won't stop there. We envisage a fabrication laboratory in the village I come from. This fab lab will help them to learn and prototype their ideas. It will be an incubator where their ideas can be progressed, made real, and financially viable. Further, we will expand our scope of work to agriculture, ranching, and mechanics, launching academies that will fill professional gaps with rural women. So you can see that my childhood informed my work's mission. My village's lack of clean water and electricity, my struggling single mother in a culture averse to working women are now addressed in a project that lights up villages, provides them with clean water, and empowers rural women for greatness. I want to see the Sahel Solar Academy educating entirely women, especially rural women. And the idea of working women is widely accepted, even applauded throughout the Sahel. My hope is to put rural women at the heart of green energy and sustainable development in the Sahel region. And I believe that when rural women are leading nationwide infrastructural projects, they will unlock social change. We need women to make lasting and generally positive change for society, and the academy will position them to grab and embrace that challenge. Thank you.